Don't forget to go to naturebox.com and sign up to get your free sampler box of great tasting wholesome snacks. Forget the vending machine and start snacking. Nature Box? Smarter. I'm just want to, let's just do this 15 second free. You just way. want to get it through? Yeah, this is the way uh, your other pods do it. All right, but I love a Nature Box, but okay. Um, I, I heard the it. most boring fucking Audible ad the other day. It was a straight fucking read, and I was like, oh, God, I can't even imagine doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. All right, go ahead. <laughs> let's, let's see how it feels. Forget right. the vending machine and start snacking. Smarter with delicious treats like BBQ Kettle Kennels. Oh, BQ. <laughs> vanilla, gr- vanilla granola. Go to naturebox.com slash TSD. That's naturebox.com slash TSD. Is that 15 seconds? Did I give them enough? Yeah, what are they, still what, going. What so do yeah. they get? I mean, what do they? Uh, what, what their it's free snacks? For, no, free sampler box. Oh, free sampler box and free shipping, right? Isn't that the other thing? Uh, no. Okay, that's it it's free something or other. If you go on, they'll tell you. Sweet. Right. Yeah. That's how we got our website. So we're gonna try to take our fucking Nazi coins. Tell him, Steve Dave. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Tell Him, Steve Dave. Lots of people at the poker table today, Q. Yeah. You're yes. here. I'm here. I got my uh, podcasting vest on. Yeah. Now, is this an official vest that you'll be wearing from here on out? I will be wearing this vest to podcast from now on. I like yes. it. I like that there's a uniform. Mm-hmm. It's the four color demons, bro. We've rolled into town. We've taken it over. Mm-hmm. Of course, Walt's here. Mm-hmm. And we have uh, Gidham and Sunday Jeff. Howdy. Hello. Uh, I, I, I wanted – I. Keep forgetting, but I wanted to show you something, Walt, because I thought you might uh, be interested in this. Okay, well, this is cool. Is this Hitler related, or is that later? No, this this is Hitler related. Um, this is very strange. <laughs> We're go- I'm going to Florida in uh, March. I'm throwing a little plug here. If you went to, uh, Europe, you are a seasoned podcaster. You don't need a vest. Uh, you you just you just throw in plugs and they seem so seamless. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like people don't even like they can't 30, tell. 30 seconds into the show or we've got a plug. Uh c csmod.com. No, wait. I love the, the, the confusion at every plug. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where the fuck it is. You do the work. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't remember what uh what what the address is. I, th- I think it's csmod.com slash ybry. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. Anyway, we're we're in three different cities in uh in March. So you got some you got some pressure, right? Cuz this is where you have to you have to reveal some sort of like usually embarrassing and aghast ghastly um in yeah endeavor that you've that you've been up to where and then you're kind of like kev has the like normal people would be completely ashamed and would never yes. admit to it yeah. right right uh why bro okay yeah, here we go it's me and kev and it's uh we're I, I can't me. imagine you have any ammo left in that gun to use. Boy, yeah, you wouldn't think so, but <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of things I came up with that are pretty good. Uh, Fort Lauderdale. Thank God. On April 17th. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. Um, West Palm or Palm Beach, April 18th, and then Orlando on the 19th. What are the names of the clubs? They're all the improv. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. The air conditioning doesn't work so great there sometimes, so I would I would call and ma- I'm not dead serious. I would call and make sure. Really? Because we're both sweaty bastards. That's, that's what I'm saying. Two of us. We we uh, the AC we we played those clubs and in all of the improv clubs the, the AC was like just doesn't work. Just huh? would not work, and it was like 90 it's, degrees. It's winter. April. Oh, April. Okay, that's yeah. right. April. Okay. Yeah, and in Florida. Mm. Yeah, it might be right. I was in Florida two days ago. It was like 70 degrees. Mm-hmm. People jumping all over you. Mm. Yeah. 
Q, Q can't uh, – Q, Q is Q's having Q's, a hard time in public lately. Q better start looking into buying a Michael Jackson mask. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told and and any friends he has put like um, like he like put scarves over their faces and shit you know what it's but not I, it's just certain people just I don't told know Q what. the other day that there there may be a time when he needs to have uh, not security per se but a handler that so he can just go and do his thing and not be I thought uh, that was Stacy harassed. Who's the hell Stacy keeping away though? Yes. She's like five, she ten, eighty pounds. Oh, you want you want someone to actually What's physically muscle? stop? No, I didn't say that. He said you? that. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah I, I think there may be it may be getting to a point where uh, the impractical jokers have joked their way into. Uh, I just don't think I can go anymore. Oh, I can't do that though. Yeah. Like I said, you put a bee a beekeeper's helmet on. I like that. <laughs> you know, Nobody would notice. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Michael Jackson rolled. Yeah, You're on I don't the think I'm on that level. Right? <laughs> With the like beekeeper's the be- mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but at any rate, um, so. Start calling Sal Blanket. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, he's referring to because I went to Universal with my mother this weekend. Right. I just, we were just walking along and I was like, you want to go in the park? So we just went in the park. Only We were going to go for like an hour or two just mm-hmm. to kill time. And uh, – this woman <laughs> ran up and jumped on my back, like piggy, tried to jump on my back, piggyback style. Is this is this a woman that you would have welcomed on your back if your mom wasn't there, um, or your front? No, I don't think I'd welcome anybody who just jumped on my back. And I fucking checked her hard, like it was like, oh yeah, yeah, I did like that to her, and got really? her off my back, and I cursed. You didn't her. even know who the fuck it was. I didn't know, all I know, is someone jumped on my back, and I was like, and I and I stumbled towards my mother, and it's just like, well now, like. Is your mom like is, – is she in a state of uh, like she doesn't know what to do because you're – It happened you're so fans. fast. I shouldn't even notice it. But I was like – I go, get the fuck off me. I was like – and she's like, oh, I just want a picture. I was like, I'm with my mother. The fuck away from me. Like, she's like, oh, that's your mom. I couldn't tell she had a beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> so it was is, a, that, is that blanket? Is that blanket? No, that's my mother. <laughs> I, like, I like that Sal has the same body type as my mother. <laughs> Walking arm in arm. <laughs> so wow, so you're you're you're. It's coming to the point where you can't do the things you once could have done. It's at that point. Really, it's, you've yeah. been, it's the curse of fame, Q. Yeah, it happens. It Not does. to us and an uh, compliment. Thank God. Well, no one's jumped on my back. Thankfully. Except uh, to be like, hey, that's my lunch. Give it back. <laughs> it's funny. I'm like, I had dinner with um, some true TV executives and, and we were telling like stories like that. And they were like, well, you're going to miss it when it's gone. And I was like, no. I'm like, I won't. And they're like, well, are you telling me if you went into a restaurant, nobody cared? You wouldn't like it wouldn't bother you? And they don't, I can see they don't get it. I'm like, I don't care. Like, I can't wait for that day. So, but I tell you what, well, I did you proud. Okay. Uh, I was walking through uh, Universal and I I was taking like lots of pictures, lots of pictures. And I was getting kind of annoying because I couldn't. Yeah. It was getting that way. You know what I mean? And and uh, I saw someone wearing an uh, an army ant t shirt. And they didn't. They weren't bothering you. They 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 didn't think they'd see me. I went up to them. Well, how and, fucked up or was that kind of reaction from them? Right? That must have been totally. He stunned. went. Oh! <laughs> and he's like, "My wife's in the bathroom. Do you mind waiting?" Where's blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he said his wife's in the bathroom. He was like, do, do, do you mind waiting? And I was like, of course. You know what I mean? There's something different about the army ants oh, that yeah, I will approach yeah. them instead of them. You'll jump on me. his fucking I back. I jump right on his fucking back. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, so as always, army ants. You know what I've noticed? A lot of army ants uh, aren't getting – remember we said the signal was going to be the, yeah, the antlers yeah. waving? We, we've got to make that a more – like we've got to incorporate but that. When I go on stage for the for the live shows, I do that and they never notice. And then in the meet and greets, which by the way, a lot of ants come to the meet and greets and tell me a lot of good things about about the show. Um, and I do this. They don't get it. So I don't – I think we haven't been clear on what it is. Uh, I know that's true because some people well, are I don't know if, you know if one hand anybody knows what you're talking about. You're just doing this on a podcast. Yeah, it's two yeah, – <laughs> You know people it. can yeah. see you, right? It's two hands. <laughs> it's, it's two you're hands. two fingers. Right. Yeah, you're making an antenna. Wiggle. Making like horns. Like you have horns. Devil horns. Off, off your forehead. Yeah. Except you wiggle them. Right. Like, yeah, in, like, in lieu of shaking hands because you don't want germs. That's right. Yes. And uh, so I do that when I, I – I throw a Tom Steve Dave references into as many things as possible. Did it on Rosie O'Donnell? Right. The View you the did? other day? 
It was I on the view it. the other day. Did you I see had, it? No, I didn't see it. Uh, it what was, was good. the reference? Uh, it was real subtle. Was it just go, tell him, Steve Dave? No, no, no. <laughs> you no? remember how Brian was making fun of me for coming out on the Ellen Show dancing? Yeah. I texted him beforehand. I go, I will dance. I said, I'll come out dancing just for you. Like, and only listeners will get it. And then when they when, when they introduced us, I started doing a little shuck and jog, uh, and nobody else was doing it but me. And I just knew that Brian and the ants were going to get it. Like, I immediately like, texted yes. him. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how we got on that, but yeah. So mm. things are good. Things are good. Things but are good as long as you um, become almost like a hermit. Yeah, it's it's headed that way. It's headed that way. Well, there it's there right. has to be that that line. That li- like that line doesn't exist. Like obviously, it, for for us, like when we do cons, when I'm at cons with Mike and Ming, it's it's not nearly the same. Like it's I, not I, Beatles. It's no. Like it's you, not Bay City Rollers. Beatles. It's not the Monkees. It's um. What it's you- uh. Who who's less than the Monkees? <laughs> <laughs> the Mosquitoes. What, is that a real band? Uh, I think they're from. Um- <laughs> <laughs> nah, turtles were famous, right? right we're some you're... fucking shit indie band. Nobody cares about. <laughs> but uh, Q, I find that when we go out, Q gets recognized far more than than, than I do. But even at a con, sometimes like people will come up and they'll just like a foot away from your face, just take a picture and f- mm-hmm. like without asking. And it's not like get my permission to take a picture, but it's like if you're gonna put a flash that close to my eyes, just tell me yeah. or, or or ask or whatever. You know what though? It's, you know, something's going on <clears> because. Your channel, true. Yeah, they are showing Impractical Jokers now twenty four seven. Yeah, Every, you know, so they're like, I mean, that's what's happening, man. They are becoming in in the monkeys. They, no, they're <laughs> being put, they are being put into the lexicon of America right now. Right. They are on, you know, every time you hit the channel on, they're on. So like, everyone <sighs> is seeing it more and more. I mean, it's. It's exploding. It's if it stu- hasn't already exploded. It's a stupid question that I'm sure you've been asked a billion times. But like, ha- does it has it gotten harder to trick people? Uh, it, to it practically joke them. It has to a degree, but not a bad degree. Like we shoot in Manhattan, and it's it's eight million people on a 14 mile island. Most of them don't have True TV. Most of them don't give a shit. Then you have foreigners. Then you have, you know what I mean. So it's that's it's what I was going to ask you. Do you think maybe if you would have to go to another part of the country or out of the country at a certain point to? Uh, I think we're still good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think we're still good. Like you may need to go to Syria to practically <laughs> trust yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. There, they, you know they got a great sense of humor down there. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to say – They're a riot. And I, don't, I don't mean to say that that like all the everybody that comes up to is annoying. That's not the case at all. It's the people who jump on your back. It's the people who put the fucking camera in your face and take the photo without asking. It, it's That shit is just fucking driving me insane, Walter. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear that because you know it's, it's I right. could see it's it's taking its toll on you. Eh, you know what? I got the four color demons. But that's I'm the happy. thing. It's it's almost never tell them Steve Dave people. No, I've never had a bad experience with telling Steve Dave listeners yeah. ever, ever. And 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 as a, I treat them, the guys make fun of me a little bit because when we'll meet and greets <laughs> and when people come in with a Tell them Steve Dave shirt, I'm like fucking like a fly to shit. I just go right there, and I spend the whole time talking to them and hanging out with them and stuff how like about, that. How about how about an ant on chocolate? That'd be better. Okay, yeah, like an ant. Like, fly, fly to shit. Like, like an ant on TSD chocolate. TSD listeners like, huh? Yeah, you just took a compliment. And just really turned it upside down. Nah, they know. <laughs> they know. Uh, Speaking of shit, we got get him here. Uh, we got Sunday Jeff. Mm. How you guys doing? Good. How's life treating you in 2015? How's it going, Sunday Jeff? So far, all right. No complaints. Did you make complaints. any resolutions? Or do you not make resolutions? Nah, I don't really make any resolutions. I don't stick could, to them anyway, so. And you're a New Year's baby, right? Yes. Well, New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Were you big? Was it, is it a big, was it a big shindig? No, nah, not really. Eve, no. Nah. So it's, uh, really, it's, it's just. Nobody really acknowledged it. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> It's like when I was – eventually when I got to the age where I was – you know, you know, my parents would always go out on my birthday and stuff, you know, when, when I was when I was Aww. younger. So it's just like, you know, I stayed home. I watched my sister. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, but I'm saying this is when I was young. Uh, I didn't know you had a sister. Uh, yeah, I, do. I didn't know that. I have a sister and a brother. So I'm the oldest. So, you know, they would they would go out. I mean, on your birthday, birthday? Jeffrey? Yeah. We'll be back, at a, we'll be back yeah. in the yeah, – yeah. We'll be year. back in a week. <laughs> <laughs> Come back home. Fucking snow is on the TV. Uh, <laughs> hey, happy new year. So so you're, so you're the oldest, and then you have a uh, younger like, brother and younger sister. How much younger are they than you? My brother's three years younger than me. My sister's ten. 
10 years younger. Mm-hmm. Isn't it weird that like back in the day, people would be like, okay, you're 13. You can be in charge of a 10 year old. It's really strange. <laughs> right? right though. And we're going out at night. <laughs> hey, you know what? I would, I would have trusted you at five years old to watch a 13 year old. <laughs> I'm telling you, not so much confidence I got in yeah. your skills and your, uh, your mind. Obviously they had enough confidence too. You know what? Right. I mean, would you be? Would you be? Would you have any apprehensions about leaving him as a five-year-old in charge of like a bunch of kids? No, he's solid as a rock. This guy. <laughs> you know, I, I, would I mean, like, you could even if the pilot light goes out of the stove, you could light it. I would. Be, yeah. I, I wouldn't care. Kablam! <laughs> Yeah, there's there's not much I wouldn't. Maybe we should wait until he's fourteen <laughs> or six. Yeah. <laughs> But now, what was it you were going to show me? You were going to show me something. Hitler okay. Right so, uh, yeah, my point was that uh, I told Seiji, I said, we're going to go to Florida and explain everything we're going to do there. So whenever I have change, I give it to her and she would put it in a jar and the jar filled up. And she has this game that's supposed to – it's designed to teach kids about coins and shit. And uh, so she put all these plastic coins into the jar. So I had to go and separate them before I brought them to the bank and dumped them into that thing. And as I was going through it, something caught my eye, and <gasps> it's a Nazi penny. What? Von Stucken? Oh, Is my that God. the weirdest fucking thing? And you don't know thing? where it came from? No. It was just in the jar. It was like somebody must have given it to I me. I brought my skin, man. I'll be giving this shit. <laughs> Did you do internet research on it? What's that? Did you do research on it? Yeah, it's like some kind of. Did you get it out of like a, a, a quarter machine, a dollar? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> dollar value, whatever the fuck it's yeah, called. Yeah, then I went and complained. And <laughs> what, what the fuck are the odds of this? It, it, how All fucking right, weird is that? Us. Yeah. Right, Fanny? You don't know. It could be worth some cash, bro. It could be. I don't know. It's, it's, it's smaller than a penny. But it's the same color and it has a swastika. <laughs> you did no research. I mean, I I looked it up. I mean, it's it just looks like it says right on it, like it has the name of it. What's it called? Uh, Reichenbugger or something. Fenny. Here, spell it. R E I. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll Reich. look it up. God, it says 1938 on it. Yeah, it has the date and everything. That's old as hell. Mm, holy R-E-I. shit. R E I R E I S P. F H I T L E R. Hitler could have touched that. Look at that Hitler's DNA on Say that. Say it one point. more time. R E I C H I T L E R. R E I C H I T L E R. R E I C H I T L E R. R E I C H S P S P F E. H I T L E R. N N I. Okay, and then G. It's not coming up in your like in your in your help on the Google Help. It has pictures of like these these globes with crosses and shit on it, though. It, does, it doesn't have the picture of the penny. Hold on. Or whatever the fuck I'm it is. I'm getting up about $4 for 1938. Yeah, it's worth about 4 bucks. Yeah. You seen it? Let me see. If your date is. Would you accept that here at the stash if I multiply oh, yeah, something for $40? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can take one, uh, right. one Nazi coin for my comic? About $4. You have about $4 for it, buddy. About $4. I know a place you can sell it at the flea market. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Is he still there? Is that guy still there? So. I don't take coins. You got any knives, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> that is fucked up. That's like, I, I'm holding it in my hand and I feel real weird. Like you feel evil. Like, yeah, it's right? real fucking That's the weird. devil's money right there. Like that, like that coin passed through the hands of God knows how many. Just like not like that. Hitler could have had could've, that could've, in his pocket. He could have Hitler DNA on that. Yeah. Of his dickies. Yeah. Wow. He could have, right? Yeah, he could have been like just fiddling with his coins, or I mean, he could have I'm been sure flipping that pay. coin at the at the expense of someone's fate. He's like swastika like, like, up, two face, shut <laughs> up, and see you later. All right? I mean, there's you don't know, man. You, what this penny has seen? Yeah, I know. How fucking weird is that, though? Like, I was because if if she hadn't put all that plastic coins and shit you, into I mean, it, I would have uh, just you dumped you it all in. Take a picture of it and then uh, put it up on your Twitter after the show drops. I can't trust <laughs> those guys to do it. I don't know if you want to do that. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please! I have worse on my feeds. All right. Well, if you want to see a Nazi symbol, go right and get him. You don't care. You just want people to see a fucking feed. You'll put a swastika up there. Something and many- follow him while you're at it too. <laughs> yes. All right. If he's going through, if he's taking the risk of putting Nazi memorabilia on his Twitter page. At least followed a guy. Yeah, Thank he you. deserved it <laughs> somehow. <laughs> you see, it, so Kim? you guys also. I want. I, I. We didn't get a chance to talk about it last week because I didn't want to do it out. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. They're selling for about 
thirty bucks online. Thirty to one hundred and fifteen bucks. What scam are you trying to pull? I you didn't try to buy it, Hugh. I showed you the site. <laughs> really? You know, I got a guy it. at the market that you could bring it to. Yeah, that yeah, was, you're right. That, he was. Yeah, that was an undersell. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't pushing. America's going subtle. He's trying it's to go the slow subtle. con, man. Yeah. It's the fucking. All right, get him. Well, a fucking well, see where you're even at. if he was, how can he begrudge him? <laughs> to rip me off. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, that's how we got our website. So we're yeah. trying to take our fucking oh. Nazi coins. It's so weird. Yeah, top. it has like, it has the eagle and the swastika and, and all, this is probably uh, they probably don't have this on current uh, German money right now. <laughs> <laughs> But um, we didn't get a chance to talk about it last week because you weren't here, Q. But I, I I know you guys went to see wrestling. Yes, we went to go. I'd like to get the report on that. Well, uh, I mean, I'm sure Brian and would the have listeners, a more I'm sure, would love interesting to uh, perspective. I mean, I, I was a fan going in. How did you feel? Uh, I got how much say- is this? How much does this event cost if you're going to watch it on at home? Uh, well, not to do a commercial for the WWE, but uh, it's sixty bucks to watch it, or you could get the. Uh, WWE net, Network, which is ten bucks a month, and you got every pay per view for and free. And you've paid for the events that were at, uh, at on home, right? Sure, you yeah. Pay 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 per view. Yeah. Well, now I have network. the network, so so I get that shit. Oh yeah, you pay the network too, huh? Yeah. Do, have yeah. you ever paid for wrestling? No. no. Get them? No. no. Me neither. I've gone to parties that someone did, but. Yeah, that party. was just yeah, mostly wrestling? dudes all oiled up. <laughs> 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 that was like a birthday party at a bowling alley, and they had the wrestle wrestling event on. WrestleMania. And you watched it? Yeah, a little. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite wrestler? You have one? Uh, back then it was uh, Jake the Snake. Oh, nice. But Still alive. I heard he was not. Yeah, I heard he was never a nice guy. He was, he was on drugs. He was yeah. on drugs a lot. So you gotta forgive him. All right. So what was happened? It? Then? Yeah. Uh, it, it's. I have to say, it's definitely a fucking spectacle. It's first off, it's almost exclusively male. Um, really? All those hot, chiseled male wrestling bodies don't attract women to come out and watch that? Uh, it does in, like, not appear speedos? that way. It I mean, and yeah, they, I mean, they, we you're kids, talking Speedos. When yeah. we were kids, I could understand because they were all thick as hell, out of shape looking. They looked like Andre the Giant. Yeah. Or, <laughs> like they looked horrible, but now they look like, like God himself. Like Adonis's. Shit. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. And that doesn't attract the, the ladies? I guess it doesn't, right? You, you know? The. Uh, some no. ladies, it does. There, there were definitely some girls there, but, no there, but there, right? I mean, ninety-nine percent dudes. No, I would, not ninety-nine. Percent. I would, I would give it a good ninety percent, though. Uh, I don't know. Pretty close, right? Oh, the three seats behind us. Were Even all if women. I gave you eighty percent, the three seats behind us were all the whole row behind us were women, and a, no. and a little kid. I took sure. All right, all right. There were so, a lot of there were a lot of. Uh, would you I, say I, major, I, it's a? It's a I'd it, say majority it outweighs, male. It outweighs women by uh, by a huge yeah, chunk. Yeah, by by a good by. I think it's like a thing dads and sons do pretty much, and yeah, there were there were some yeah a lot of kids were there, and it 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 wasn't cheap, right? Like to get a seat there. No, the seats that we were sitting in, I think, cost like two two forty per ticket. Yeah, we were uh, comped by Hornswoggle himself. Yeah, (laughs) who's that? That's the dwarf wrestler. Oh, really? Yeah, Yeah, you got you met him. No, I didn't get to he meet wasn't him. There. We didn't get to meet any wrestlers. He wouldn't meet me. He turned his back. <laughs> 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 Only he and cute. No, he wasn't there. But we we went in, and it really is. Um, it's something. I was texting with Maxwell the whole time too because he loves it. Oh, he's a big re- yeah. yeah. He yeah. he he loves it. He he said it was on his like the seats that we had are and the what it was WrestleMania was it called Royal Rumble Royal Rumble. I would like, think, that's I'm just if list. I had to guess, you know, and I know it sounds very. Um, like judgmental, but like he texted Eha. <laughs> <laughs> but I would think like like wrestling was like the his top form of entertainment, and maybe NASCAR. Yeah, I would agree. And football, <laughs> he loves football. There, there were definitely things that that I found ve- like funny. Like the the thing that I that I actually. It really enjoyed was the guy who's the guy who has the stunt man who does. Oh, okay, it's Ms. Dow and his stunt man. Uh, uh, no, it's the Miz and his stunt man, Ms. Dow. Uh, do you are you familiar with these guys? I don't, I don't, I don't watch. It's any pretty wrestling. genius. It's it's so like if I when I ex- do you want to explain it because I feel like it's I'm not, not going to sound good, but it is. It's not. It's, it's not. Well, this you have guy. to preface it with that. <laughs> yeah, but it is. But that's the thing. Like, I promise you, though. Know, if yeah. he can't, if Brian Johnson, who is one of the most eloquent <laughs> right. speakers I've ever come across, cannot describe a wrestling event, yeah. and then you say it's not going to sound good. Well, well I'll try. Is. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Right. So the Miz is this guy whose his gimmick is that he's a Hollywood actor, right? 
because he's been in some bullshit movies here and there. Um, and he comes out with the sunglasses on, and you know what I mean. And the and the so he hired a, a stunt double to be his tag team partner, and the guy looks nothing like him. He's got like a beard, so right away it's funny. And then the the guy's gimmick. His, how do you get? How do you get all this information? Like they walk out and tell you in the ring that no, they have little like, vignettes. Well, they, and how and do you know this? Stuff? I had no idea until because, like, Q told how me. Could, if he if he's never seen a wrestling event, he goes. Well, I told him. So he would. So you really have to know your shit to appreciate it. I would be like, "What the fuck are these guys doing?" <laughs> yeah, you don't have to know your shit. Like once I gave him the one sentence top line of it, he was able to enjoy it. Do they sell like programs? Well, no, no, they don't okay. do that. So, so what he like what he Play-Dos? did was, um, whenever whenever the Miz does something, Miz Dow um, mimics he him. mimics him. And that's it. It sounds so fucking sounds stupid. So stupid. I know but it's hysterical. <laughs> and then the audience loves the the body the the. The stunt double, but hates the fucking guy. Hates the main wrestler. I could see in your face you're just like it sounds. It's the most idiotic it fucking retarded. thing ever. I know, <laughs> but it's it's not. It's hysterical. You lost me at two forty. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny as shit. Like we were laughing and, and you guys really read getting Hemingway. Into it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like I, you're entertained by this kind of level I, of I know it sounds like yes. <laughs> yes. The most primal fucking idiotic part of my brain enjoyed it so fucking it much. It was so fun, <laughs> funny, dude. We were rolling laughing at it. Because it's just like it's, it's so it's, stupid. Yeah, like if the guy like the main guy falls down, like the in other the guy in the ring, the other guy on the sidelines will fall down and just mimic <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know it sounds so dumb. <laughs> but I swear, so if and you go on aware. YouTube and watch it. <laughs> like they're doing – like he's doing it knowing that it's stupid and that changes it a little bit. You know what right. I mean? Like so the, he's doing it to be stupid on purpose and it's just so fucking It's impossible funny. to sell. <laughs> so you can't do it. Was you that the it. highlight of the night? Yeah, For me it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's something too because the way the Royal Rumble works is that like two men come out in the beginning. And then there's 30 men total every 90 seconds. Another wrestler comes out. So like every time someone comes out, the anticipation is like, who's going to come out? Because they don't right because you don't know who it is. And then they have a ju- like, yeah. then the whole crowd's going like, ten, who is it? Who is nine, it? Yeah. eight. So, so, so they you, built the, the anticipation. You are ready to right. pop the whole That's time it. you're there. And then sometimes yeah. the wrestler comes out. It's fucking awesome. like they brought some classic guys out who haven't wrestled in years. So everybody started going nuts. And every once in a while they brought a dud out. So they five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ah, you know what I mean? It's shit like that. It would be like, it'd be like when, like, if we opened up uh, a Tell Him Steve Dave and Ming announces that it's, uh, hello everybody and welcome to Tell Him Steve right, Dave. Right, exactly. Be the dud. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there was one black guy who was in the ring. I mean, I don't think it was racist. I just think people didn't like him. Ten seconds. Yeah, he came in and they just fucking tossed him right they out. Threw him right the fuck nuts. out again. How could that not be though? Like in any form of entertainment, how could that not be? Like how could you not question that there may be some racial overtones? Well, there were other Is black it, guys. No, only... Right, there was successful black. No, okay. No, 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 no. If that was the only one, and you're like, I don't think there's anything no, racist. No, 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 no. I'd be like, well, you are giving a pretty, a yeah, pretty big. They brunch. carried him out on a cross. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to question my definition of racism. <laughs> And there were um, there were only two girls too. There were two females, right? They, so, they uh, actually the me- wrestled there was men. A, no, no, no. There was a female. There was a female championship match. Okay. And the, the Bella Twins were and they're hot. I mean, there's something to see. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, he's fourteen. Yeah. I've <laughs> never seen yeah. a girl. They were. They were like, tight. You didn't see one earlier today. Yeah, yeah. he's not going <laughs> to see one later tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Bella Twins. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Um, that I, that that Miz and the Miz Dow guy. That was the highlight. And what else was? Uh, I mean, it was largely forgettable. Oh, the rock. Um, <laughs> so wait, I was going to ask you. I really wanted to know. Was that? Was that taste enough to whet your appetite? You're like, you know what? I'm going to watch. I'm going to. I'm going to watch the next wrestling match that's on cable this week. Or no? No, I don't. I didn't no, get that you from couldn't, him. You couldn't no. turn him, huh? I didn't really try. I I, I know. Well, you know, taste. he fucking needs something. <laughs> I don't think this is it. <laughs> it's he, not Miss Dow. You knew enough that it wasn't Miss Dow. I don't think so. I don't think um, so. That's only a fleeting. Uh, yeah. a I think that's the last thing on his list. He but should focus. It on. is interesting though. Like uh, earlier, you you said something, and like Gidim is. Um, 
maybe not the most beloved part of Tell Em Steve, Dave. No. And um, it's the same way with wrestling. It's like they have their favorites, and, and the then the, and then the crowd, yeah. and then the crowd. There, there's the heels. Yeah, like you say, and the crowds like actively. Um, they love it. Yeah, like The Rock came out. I, I fucking asked you if The Rock was going to be there. You said no. I don't know. I would have came. It was a surprise. He was only out for the last time. He was there. He was there for less time than that black dude. (laughs) They threw him out of the ring? No, no. He came in in the end and the crowd went crazy and he held up the winner's hand. It was like a quick thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess like the the guy who won is like not uh, the WWE, I guess they're trying to make him notable. I, I guess they, 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 they have a plan that uh, to make some people more famous than others, right. and there's that one That's guy that the script, Brian. Daniel Bryan, right? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, I, I know, yeah. but but there's one guy that they tried to make a bad guy, but I guess that the the people love him anyway. Yeah, they didn't try to make him a bad guy. They're just not giving him the push that the crowd wants to see because they love him. But yeah, the crowd really. I mean, the guy looks like a lumberjack. Yep. And what yeah. about your what about your um, your little wrestler friend? Did he come out and wrestle? He wasn't there that night, oh. unfortunately. No doink either. No doink. Doink's dead. Doink's dead. I have a horrible story about that. Why? A lot of wrestlers die, bro. Here's what happened. What? With What's doink? going on? What's Who the going? fuck is doink? He's a wrestling clown. A wrestling clown. He's a, look up Doink. I thought he was okay. a midget too. No, he, Dink is his sidekick. Is his, it's Doink and oh Dink. <laughs> so Miz wait, Miz down. wait, wait. Listen, this well, this story is this story. That's clever shit right there. Yeah, but my buddy's like, I, I, I was like, they call Mike and Ming Doink and Dink. <laughs> you can. <laughs> oh, okay. So my, so Sal at his bar used to have this event every once in a while where he would show old old WrestleManias from like the eighties and nineties, and he would lower the volume and he would set up two mics and he would let you like instead of doing karaoke, announce you it, could huh? come up and announce the, the the thing and it was very popular. People loved doing it and he would hire these old wrestlers to come, like. Uh, Right, there's Doink. That's and dark. one time he paid Doink to come to the bar in full makeup. Can you tell it? Can you reveal how much it may have been? Yeah, in the ball I, I'll tell you exactly, exactly how much. It was like 400 and change for him to come hang out that night. Poor I paid, I paid Gidham more to, to do the Audible book <laughs> that we're working on. Than- <laughs> oh, you got a refund. So, <laughs> Gidham, we're going to have to renegotiate. So that. I was like, You're no Doink. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> You're not even Barely a Dink. A dink. <laughs> <laughs> So last year's WrestleMania, I was hosting at my house and I was having a bunch of people come over um, to watch the pay-per-view. And I was like, how great would it be if I hired Doink to come and just fucking sit in a corner and like eat Cheetos while we watch fucking <laughs> WrestleMania? Like people would love it. So and then we got into it a little bit where we're making fun of the fact that he's coming to my house for 400 bucks and we're, we're all going to like have a good time. And, and, uh, and I, and I did some research and it turns out he died like two weeks earlier or something like Aww. that. So yeah. What did he die from? It I doesn't even, know. it, I'm trying to find it on his, his, I mean, a lot he, of wrestlers like expire. It's a tough quick. life, man. It's a yeah. tough life. Tough on your body. Yeah. And it says, it says that, um, it says several, uh, wrestlers have used the doink gimmick. Which I guess means the costume and the storyline. Yeah. No, I think it means bring out a, a miniature version of themselves. That's the gimmick. Seven men have used the doink gimmick. Six wrestlers, including two tag teams, have used the costume for storyline purposes at various times. Oh, you mean they just take the name up as Dink? Yeah, it's like yeah. – Also, oh, he doesn't even get to – because he's not think, Dink yeah, forever, the even in death? Owns a character. Dink the six. <laughs> Yeah. You mean they just take it's like Gallagher? It's like Gallagher. Yeah, yeah. it's like Gallagher. Oh, that's yeah. horrible. It's horrible. I've only seen one that died. That's in 2013. That's why, like, the, the uh, Bubba Ray Dudley, when he left the WWE, he had to call himself Bully Ray Dudley. And then when he came back, he was Bubba Ray again. What's that? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, there he is. That's a picture of him. I've got, a, I've got a, a question revolving wrestling that I want to save this because it's been asked, and I want to save it for you when you told this story. Uh, I'm out to dinner with my family. And. Can I just interrupt you for yeah. just one second? Former WWE producer Bruce P- Pritchard said in an interview on the Steve Austin show that Michael Hegstrand had originally conceived the idea of a miserable clown character. <laughs> <laughs> that could be you, dude. <laughs> Doink, that is me. <laughs> Doink Johnson? What are you talking about? <laughs> Doink Johnson. <laughs> People have been stealing my act. <laughs> oh, man. You know those, uh, those, uh, those W, the, the, um, Tell Them Steve Dave Weekly? Cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, I can't yeah. wait to see Doink Johnson. Doink Johnson. <laughs> you know what to Dink do. Dink Ming. <laughs> Dink Ming. <laughs> so you said you were out with your family. And all my family were eating, right. and um, 
the subject of school comes up and um, extracurricular activities, and my daughter informs me that there is that their school is uh, that she goes to is um, very proficient in wrestling. I guess they have a good wrestling team. Okay. And I'm stunned to learn that one of the wrestlers on the team is a girl. Mm. Whoa. Hmm. And I know this may now we're, we're we're walking into uh, she hot like a Bella twin. I think she's really young. Yeah, huh? but no, we're walking we're walking <laughs> into hot, we're walking into with some territories that may anger some ants. So okay. if you want to turn it off, I turn it off now. We're about we're about to get sexist here. I don't know. Some theories I, I bet you are coming out of some of these people's mouths here on this table may not agree with, but because mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm going to play devil's advocate. If I'm on the other team. Mm-hmm. I come into that school and I'm and I'm like, okay, you're up. I'm 13 years old. You got to wrestle the girl. You're in a no-win situation. You beat the girl. You're like, well, how? Do, I mean, do you feel that great about it? Or if you lose, how like you miserable do you feel? I know that. I know that. I'm just playing that. I'm not saying I would. Or also, there's the third factor. You're gonna have an erection the entire time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I haven't touched a girl yet. Right. Right. And the first time I'm touching her, I'm she is rubbing every bit of her body all over me. Well, if you, if you know anything about wrestling, referee's position, that's when you're right behind someone. You have your one hand on their uh, elbow. Yeah, you don't have to say any more. Get him. I'm, I'm, I'm getting aroused with your the way you moved your hands <laughs> yeah. just now. Want to wrestle? In your, re- your referee's position. You're right. Yeah, and you're right up behind. Him. Have you ever done it, referee position? Uh, when I wrestled, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I fucked, no. <laughs> what was the last time you got laid to get him? Uh, <laughs> oh, well, poor kid. Oh, um, uh, poor guy. Yeah, he's on television. You're, you're making him feel like about? a 13 year old yeah. wrestling a girl now. But wait, so what do you <laughs> think? We actually, when I when we did when I went when I wrestled in high school, we did have uh, one of you one were of a wrestler. Teams. Yeah, you look like a wrestler. Thank you. How were? What was your record? Uh, I won one. You lost to the girl. You only did. You only wrestled one time. Yeah. Why? Oh, you were wrestling a girl? No, I found out he was a girl. I was wrestling. I was wrestling a guy. <laughs> you slick son of a bitch. <laughs> Get Ella. I was uh, wrestling a guy from uh, Malcolm X Shabazz High School. Right. Guy was a mountain, like, bigger than Brian. So you got a hard on? And, <laughs> well, besides that. <laughs> the, Boink! That, was gonna say, uh, he, that guy he, went on to a 10 second career in the WWE. Yeah, I was going to say, he hit Sad me. clown yeah. who got fucked in high school by another wrestler. <laughs> in front of the whole school. Yeah, that's a miserable clown, man. He, oh, um. God. He pinned me in about ten seconds, and I walked off the mat laughing because I was just <laughs> not because it was just. And you quit? No, I didn't quit. My coach was so pissed. Uh, was the team. <laughs> Why it was probably laughing? not that you lost. Why it was probably you? that you were laughing. Well, that's, it was just that. That's not the competitive I wasn't, spirit. No, I wasn't laughing like as I was happy. It was just like I was yeah. so stunned. It was just like <laughs> you're like, there's no possible way I'm going to win. Like this is no. A joke. This was afterwards. It was just like I got pinned. I walked off, and I just was just laughing, and I couldn't stop. <laughs> oh, so my you coach was in my face that's screaming at an me. Un- uh, unexpected reaction. <laughs> <laughs> like has, it, has it ever happened? You've had that uncontrollable laughter in any other form, in any other experience in your life? When he gets um, laid, that's why he never fucks anybody. <laughs> just starts laughing. Sometimes when you have like someone just yelling in your face and you're saying like, so don't so this laugh, is a don't nervous laugh. reaction. I think it might have been a, yeah, a nerve thing. You know, you're just sitting there. Someone's like yelling at you, screaming, and you're just like, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't smile, and it just happens and it just makes him even more pissed off how often in life does that happen to you yeah. somebody screaming in your face and you have to me it's I mean, <laughs> yeah. probably yeah. weekly <laughs> so what do you think sunday jeff do you think that like i know that the school is saying it for the, it's probably a great thing for the girl because she's she's actually beaten is she jacked i didn't really ask okay but she, I said, has she won? <laughs> this daughter, is she jacked or, <laughs> or what? And she's, and they, uh, my daughter said, yes, she actually has. She's beaten many wrestlers of of uh, male wrestlers. Okay. But what would you? What would you want to wrestle? Well, they girl probably throw it right. Well, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, how do you? <laughs> I mean, how do you give a your all? And that's my and, and if you're, uh, and I know that she's. I know that this is, this is treading oh, on 1950s mindset. Sure. But I was born only ten years after that, nineteen fifty. Right. So you got to give me a break. What do you break think? given. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, she's really that good, and she's beaten more than multiple like one male partner. Then obviously she's up to snuff. You know. But, but, but okay, so your son's wrestling um, a girl. How do you feel? Like, do you want him to go in and air like frothing at the mouth? Get his ass kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, again, it depends on that really, situation. This is really a it, tough, tough situation to put young people in. Yeah, it is. Like you said, either you yeah, know, on a ride you know, home from from like you like you you cost us that match because you had to wrestle a girl and you right. didn't give it your all, or you cost us a match because you fucking can't beat a girl. Mm, that's but, that's a know, long road. And I, and to I know people. I know there's some people out there listening. You're like, I can't believe. But if you're going to deny. Don't fucking go sit there and deny that there's going to be kids mm. on that bus who are going to oh yeah are going to maybe um, use that as am- ammo against that kid. Uh, I- also, let's let's not pretend that like it, physically men are generally or and but boys no, in high school are generally well, this just girl must larger. be good at it. Let's give that. Let's give her the benefit. She no, must she's, be a she's, good wrestler. She's, she's definitely sure. good at it. She, there's no doubt she's good at it. But in general, guys are right. larger and stronger than girls are in high school. So. But it's, it's based on weight class. So. Okay, so if she's. I mean, she. So if she's be, a lightweight. Type. Well, no, I'm saying, yeah, you're gonna get someone insane. So why weight. were you wrestling a man mountain? Because I was. Why aren't you wrestling a girl? Because <laughs> <laughs> I was heavyweight that time, so I was about two fifty. The guy was. At you least were two fifty in high school. Oh yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, fat fuck. Yeah. How old? So, are you, how old are you now? You would you? Would you I don't, don't even know. I don't step on skates. You think it more? Oh, you never no, tell you the last time you got laid. Yeah. Our wrestling days are over. No need to step on the <laughs> Oh and one, baby! Oh and one! <laughs> That's the greatest excuse ever for not caring about your lady while my wrestling days are over. <laughs> you, I'm so concerned about you and the way you eat. I've told you this before. Well, I've, I've been eating better lately. Your Instagram is a fucking horror show of cholesterol. <laughs> what, when will you stop? I've been eating better lately. Yeah, even I'm healthier than he is. It's fucking crazy. When I first met this guy, how much you put I on just a bit of weight my, since my when I first back, met you? My cholesterol's I, I, great. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah a little bit. There yeah. you go. You, like, I, was, I was down to about 170 for a while. That's so. You think you weigh 250 now? Uh, close. Yeah. You how tall are you? Uh, almost six. So how how much of a badass were you in high school? Then you're on the wrestling team. You're 250. Not Obviously not that good. <laughs> you win a wrestling match because yeah. he's laughing like a fucking gibbon. Maybe that's as soon, he, as soon as he gets into the fucking ring, he starts laughing. <laughs> no, no, maybe no, if he had, a, after, after maybe if he had a fucking game face, he'd be the fucking state champ. Maybe that was uh, his, his angle. <laughs> There's no better word choice Gibbon right there. Perfect. <laughs> you you've got to get back in shape, please. I, I want mean, you I, around I, forever. You might oh, be able I, to win I the hearts. That. Yeah. I want you. I want you around to, until, until we don't need you anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if somebody had a crystal ball and said that Genom was the last living creature on Earth, I would be happy with that. <laughs> the okay. cockroach. Yeah. Well. Yeah. The analogy is <laughs> pretty clear. <laughs> cockroach. Yeah, you you got to start. Cockroach. Remember t- what the? Um, I look how good he looks in that cap, though. He does. Yes. He looks pretty good. Lost handsome. ten pounds. <laughs> You gotta start walking again, dude. That's yeah. that's interesting. The the female, like I know, like uh, there's female, like since there's no female football team, like the le- like yeah, girls. And I I don't and, and I don't you know, and I know this sounds like a hypocrite, but I'm like any other sport, I'm okay with because there's specialized positions, or or if the girl uh, that wants to try for the football team is good at that certain position, whatever it be, lineman or kicker, whatever it be, there's a difference. But one on one. That is putting in a tremendous amount of pressure and stress on a young child. To, to what are they? What are they faced with here? Yeah, you know, you, like you say, you the can't, opposing team. You I know you're. Win. I know that, but I know that ninety nine percent of the people are only thinking about that girl. Well, well, great for her. Good for her. We got to do this, but like, don't you think about the other kids though involved? Or what's going to happen? I or start a girl. I remember gorgeous lady of wrestling glow. Yeah, glow, yeah. Glow. Got to do that. Me bring that to the school. <laughs> oh my god! In today's world, I can't even imagine suggesting a fucking glow high school league. <laughs> if you're a parent and you brought that to like the like the, the school board. Oh, it would be brilliant. Teenage glow. It would be brilliant, dude. You should do that on Impractical Jokers. That should be a punishment. That would be absolutely genius. Wow! What do you think? Someone like presented to a, a an impact. Yeah, audience. That'd be but funny. I really want you as the wrestling well aficionado look, here, as the expert. I have a little insight into this because I went through the fire academy with several female firefighters, and I will tell you that a couple of them maybe couldn't cut it and didn't cut it. But just like a couple of men. Oh, exactly. But the fuck away, I'd cut it. There were, <laughs> no but way. there, but the ones that did were, to my eyes. Just as respected and, and just as taken seriously. So Is I, that a good analogy, though, for what I'm talking about? Well, though? no. Well, now I'm going to back into it. you're not humiliating in any other fireman, though. 
Well, if, what, they, if she rescues one of the male firemen. Well, no, no, no. It's not, it's not like that. But like, what <laughs> if she's a hero? I think I'd be thankful. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's, know, yeah no. really. If I, she's I doing well, if she's doing well, if she's excelling and you're not, it's almost like the same thing. Was just like the fucking girl is doing well, and you're they not. They would never use that. Oh my they, god! Of course they would. The, the instructors would yeah, use that as, fucking... as ammo against the the other. I mean, I didn't see it, but I I wouldn't write it out. I would be. <laughs> there's, no, there's no political. <laughs> there's, there's no political correctness in the fucking. They're trying to weed you out. It's like the Marines when they're like in your face. You don't think there's you. political correctness now seeping its way into our armed forces? I think I think a, I think things that go on 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 uh, in uh, what do they call boot camp still. I'm sure there's still a lot of shady things going on in boot camp. But you don't think it's heading? You don't think? I hope it they're... does. I want. No, I don't hope it does. I uh, I think it's good that the female firefighters that could cut it were accepted. Oh yeah. And I think I... it's fine that the ones that weren't were rejected. And right. that's actually a problem that that the city has faced. Where if they th- toss a girl out. Then you see the rabble rousing start when they did not deserve it, mm. and the girls that did deserve it rightfully so excelled. You know what I mean? But let's take it back to wrestling, though. Right. So taking it back then, I would say. So this is your older daughter or your younger daughter? My my younger daughter. She's younger only daughter. three years younger than my older daughter. Okay, though. I mm. would say, look, tough. If you can't beat the girl, then you got to suck it up. Now, what do it. these outfits look but what, like? But what, how do you feel about yourself outfits. if you're a wrestler and, and you? You're you're you you have to wrestle the girl and you win. Do you I, do you, you do you take as much? No, I think the fact that she's been beating people, right? As as a as a do you, all right. Threat. So if you're if you go in the ring with her, are you trying just as hard? I'm trying harder. You're trying harder. Harder, of course. And what well, if you hurt her? Because you don't want to get your ass beat by a girl. Get, what if she hurts me? <laughs> I don't want to get hurt by a girl any more than they fucking ripped my heart apart over the years and fucking <laughs> <laughs> treated me like shit. We're talking thirteen year olds. Just yeah, so am I. Yeah. The uh, it started early. You're an adult. I mean, I'm talking about the mindset of a young child, though, having to put in that kind of stressful like dilemma. It's a new world. It's though. A, yeah, yeah, that's, you're that's right. What to, well, that's equal what rights. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It and is. I don't. That's not like I don't disagree with that. I think it should. If if that girl. Can beat him, she should be given the opportunity to do so. Why not? But what, but what about the – but again, though, you – He has the same opportunity as she does. And, he has the opportunity to beat her. And if also – He can't do it. What about – what about – um? but aren't we taught not to – as males, not to and, put our hands on women? And, and I mean, will say – smacking her around. And I will say when the <laughs> yeah, guy on our team wrestled a girl, you could see like when he got in this, you know, the referee's position, referee's position when you start, he was just kind of like – didn't want to like touch her. It was the just, referee? The re, no, the referee's position is. Wait, who, what, what are you talking about? When you were in school? Stop with those hands. When I was in school, one of the guys on our wrestling team wrestled a girl. Oh, really? Yeah. She so, was on the team? No, from another school. But she was on the team, the other team? Yes. So this is going back even back when you were in high school? Yeah, which what, was what, the, what year? 95, 96. Okay. So, and. This has been going on for a long time then. Oh, yeah. And like I said, he was a, you know, he was a respectful kid and. <clears throat> when it came time to get in referee's, referee's position where she was down on the ground on all fours and he came up behind her, I'm so you aroused. could just see he was, he was hesitating. He was hesitating and it well, did affect him. Yeah. But I will say we didn't we, – it's a Did team. he win? I don't – I really don't remember. Were you on the team at that point? Yes. I was well, JV. I, how the fuck were you not like – why can't I wrestle? Because I was JV. Listen, I was JV. This was a varsity. I want to lose. Plus, she probably. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him lost. lost again. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Now, as a wrestler, um, oh, do you, is there that um, that natural urge to just like rub a booby? Or rub a butt, you know, like, or is it just we like that natural urge? <laughs> well, you're a young, you're you're oh, a boy. Oh, you mean a boy? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. Don't think, there are people I don't think you, you could deny you that. That's I don't think you could deny that. If if somebody says they're not factoring that in and they're looking past that, and I don't see that, and I don't feel that, I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how you cannot. I don't know how you cannot like just overlook the fact that you got some 
some goodies in your hands. Yeah. Yeah, some goodies. Well, we don't know what this girl Could looks you, like. Yeah, is that it doesn't a, matter. Is that a legal sure. move to like grab them like Jack, oh, yeah. Jackson style? Yeah, going around, yeah, pulling them oh, back Jesus down over Jesus Christ, your, yeah. it's weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to look like but you two know what? moving that's spiders what, though. You, you kind of have to imagine. Over. You have to imagine that's what she's expecting when she goes in and through practice and everything else like that, that she, you know, she's going to get a little man. So she's like, I'm going to, no, she's like, I'm going to get me some goodies then. Yeah. What do you think they would have advantage that you wouldn't be, you wouldn't want to touch those areas. Wow. <laughs> he was demoted to tall boy and then eventually he wasn't even he allowed, to allowed to attend. He, actually, he had to go to a private school. <laughs> My Marcy wasn't managing. Uh, oh, get him. Yeah. It's weird. Like the thing I find so strange about wrestling is now that like you say it's script like they finally admitted it's scripted right. and it's fake for a for a lack, you know, lack of a better word, um, it's, it's real, strange. Real it's strange. Yeah, it, it'll always it's be real, real to me. <laughs> God Almighty, can you imagine being that dude? It, it's weird to watch, knowing that one everything is is predetermined, right? You know, and the the whole like like, but people act as if it's real. They're like, oh, like you know, if there's well, you're, you're well, it's watching, like a movie or a, a TV show. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess yeah, you're right. So. It's like a play. But some of the dudes, this guy jumped off. There was a guy on a table. Like the doctor was attending to this guy. Oh, on a table. Brock, Brock Lesnar was laid out on the announcer's table. Yeah, and uh, I forget the being attended to by, yeah. by by a doctor or his. Have manager they cleaned or up whatever. wrestling for, now that it's there's a lot of kids here? Q. Oh yeah. Oh, all the, the days. It's super family friendly. Those days are over. They're not putting the animas in. Uh, no, no, no. In, uh, that, that was Jim called McMahon's the. Uh, asshole now. <laughs> that was they're called, not doing that no more. They did. That. Oh yeah. That I that saw, was called I was the flipping around era. and I saw yeah. that. Trying to watch stunned. wrestling. Yeah. I was flipping around I, and I happened to see them sticking stuff up Jim McMahon's ass. Yeah. Not you couldn't see his butthole, but it was from right. another angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was I was aghast. That was a wow. different era. They they call that the a attitude era. Was that the was that a better era? I think so, but we, that, that doesn't have, like that animus. doesn't happen in your daughter's school, right? They don't do those kind of moves and shit. Right? <laughs> There's not even blood or anything anymore. They, no blood capsules. They, no, they cleaned it all up. That's what I told Q. I said I I never was into wrestling. I never liked it, but what I do remember in grade school, like. McClusk- Matt McCluskey bringing in magazines yes. where guys were just bleeding like they, it, they it looked said, like they were in a car accident. They had razor blades. Razor yeah. blades, yeah. right? Yeah. That, yeah. that was the, that was the uh, urban myth, or if it was, no, it's it true. It's true. So like you couldn't get fake blood capsules. You had to physically cut your scalp. Remember, I remember mankind. Mankind huh? looked like you did a horror movie. Yeah, but he he would he was part of that fucked up extreme era, man, where they would just hit each other with barbed wire and stuff like that. <laughs> I, remember, I remember one. Of those it's movies. bizarre. Yeah, literally <laughs> thumbtacks. Yeah, thumbtacks. Yeah. They used to they used to lay thumbtacks into the ring and then throw each other off the top ropes and just slam into it. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Why won't they do that anymore? No family friendly. They don't. They don't want. How is it? How is it family friendly to still beat the shit out of each other, but not without thumbtacks? It's cartoonish. That, that violence. guy. That guy that jumped off those ropes. I, I can't tell you how high he was in the air yeah. and just landed on the table and everything collapsed. <laughs> It's fucking, pretty impressive. They went sprawling all over the place. It was amazing because you're watching it like it's not like they cut away or anything. You're watching it happen live and you're like, how the fuck are they able to do this and not get hurt? Yeah. You know, it's it's really well choreographed. It's it's pretty amazing. It's but, got- I love wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> it sure sounds like it. But I don't get it though. Where is the line between – well, you can – punch and hurt and injure or do all but where what is that line now where well that's too much <laughs> the enema is too much <laughs> it's there it's definitely there no um, blood though no. no blood but why though it's not like kids don't know blood exists i think they just want to keep it as clean as possible is right? it is it the age thing like they don't want no i don't think that because I think like it's, in hockey if you're, there's any little blood you, you got you can't play until you get stitched look, up Cartoon. The second you you start bleeding and stuff, then it's crossed the line from like cartoonish violence to real, actual physical harm. He's hurt. He's bleeding. He's hurt. Now. He's bleeding. Yeah. Even if always, even if it's intended, even if he doesn't care, you're still doing it. So, so but what sport? So would would the sports world be better with no blood in any sport then? Well, I don't think you can control it in real sports. I mean, you still see blood and stuff, but when it really I happens. Want, I just wanted him to say real sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not sports entertainment. Yeah, it's like you still see it. People still get hurt in in uh, professional wrestling, but it's not intended. Okay. Yeah. 
You're right, though. It's got to take its toll. I mean, these guys are are fucking jumping and bouncing and falling and fucking just well, beating I've, themselves I've up like crazy. I've become friendly uh, with uh, one of the female wrestlers, Velvet Sky, who's pretty popular. And she was telling me stories where she hurt her knee really bad and she was the champ at the time. So she still had to wrestle every night. And they tried to work the storyline so she was hurt. But – she was still out there doing it and shit like that. So well, that's probably why like some of these guys get addicted to painkillers and shit, right? Because Of course. It's yeah. nonstop battering of your body. Right. Yeah. It was it was definitely interesting and I was glad I went. I was really glad I went. We and, had fun. We and we had a we had fun. Yeah, mine's worked though. I mean, at least you know if it's three hours of entertainment, you're getting three hours it's, of entertainment. And it's it's wall to wall. But they thing. don't stop trying to sell you shit once you're there (laughs) oh my god they have the jumbo screens and the second that there's not action in the ring it's a commercial for a a wwe game a wwe show a wwe shirt anything can i ask this i don't i'm sure you don't know but you may know as a wrestling fan though and you what you just said at least you know you're getting your three hours of entertainment or a boxing match but is there a level of people who go there who I, I will use the Super Bowl, which just happened this week, right. as a, as I'm sure the Seattle fans were devastated with what happened. With what happened, oh yes, is there people oh, yes. who are devastated, devastated with what the outcome of the match is? Absolutely, yeah. You see those them. people, yeah, need to be all rounded up. I don't agree. I don't agree. With you. <laughs> <laughs> they come on, man. Because they're as invested as anybody is in a book or a movie. No or way. Of course. No way. How fucking upset I was about Wally West. <laughs> like, yeah, absolutely. I'm talking about the level of like depression and. You're not talking about little kids either. You're I'm talking, talking about, about like. Oh, about I don't know. If, still real to me. Guy. I don't know if. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they get depressed, but I think they do get passionate about it. Yeah. But I saw some videos of some Seattle fans who videotape themselves watching the Super Bowl. Yeah. They videotape their reactions like they have a party. Okay. And you get to watch the highs and the lows and to right. the ex- to the extreme extreme <laughs> low that what happened. And it's like they just witnessed someone die in front of them. Like a loved one. Well, those people should be rounded up too. <laughs> I'm just – but – Maybe they have money. But, there, but this is real <laughs> – but this is real outcomes though. This is unscripted outcomes though. Yeah, but it still doesn't affect your life in any real meaningful it's way. It's real to him, damn it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what, tell him. Tell him about 2001. Tell him about 2012. He's, he's screaming at Sunday Jeff for everybody. Mm-hmm. Tell him. Tell him about right 2001. Tell face. him about 2012, how we felt. <laughs> oh, the, the Carolina game? No, 2012. Devils. Fool. Devils. 2012 <laughs> oh. against the Kings. 2001 against Colorado. Tell him how we felt. Um, bad, but not like that. That's pretty terrible. I mean, 94, yes. 94 when they, when they lost against the Rangers. That was pretty devastating. That was pretty devastating. I had to get married a month. No, I had to get married – I had to get married four, two weeks after He's game awesome. seven wrestle in 1994. <laughs> I had to get but married. Saying, but you would have been that passionate. That. Even that was old you marriage. Were, <laughs> that's a Seattle Seahawk. 94 was your Seattle Seahawk. You would have been that that person. Yeah. He had to go on a honeymoon. I was in the room with me. Oh, I've they been in rooms through. too before. It was, it was, it was devastating. Because that would have been their first. For that me to watch my their, friend their most... undergo that level of psychosis. <laughs> <laughs> this was at a point where you weren't even in. You, you weren't into your shell game. Like you were still. You were like you were. You were. You were like peppy and happy. Like so, you had to oh, be yeah, like concerned yeah. about me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, I remember just uh, like, like in your living room. No, like we were in you, Kevin's living you room. You had to um, – I'm, I'm talking about other games oh, okay, where, yeah, yeah. where like you had to hold a certain thing. I had a little like, chicken I had to hold. Yeah, it yeah. was <laughs> – Yeah, it was Look, weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like I'm fine with that. I, I, I don't judge anybody for that. But what I am saying is if you were saying I have to round up the wrestling fans who get into it. You no, know, who get into it to the got, point where they get like devastated. Like, then I think you have to round up the, uh, all the fans. But that like get you have to, all you got to do is sit there. Just one thing. Oh, yeah. It's scripted. My guy will win one day. Yeah, but what was the fun in that? Or who cares? There's the fun in that. Yeah, well, you're just lying to yourself then. No, you know it's fa- – you've not you watched don't movies know and gotten upset and, huh? and you've not watched movies and gotten emotional and gotten upset or heard a song that's gotten See, you I, emotional I compare upset. it to um, – would... No song has ever affected you? That where I got emotionally upset? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, do you know how many songs can like make me cry? 
Like right, sometimes, yeah, course. sometimes there's like there, there will the, be a no bar of a song. No, no way. Well, this is where be. you're fucked up, not the <laughs> no rest of us. No way. Yeah. There is no song that can make me cry. You're insane. Yeah. You're a crazy. Person. And I'm not Cats even talking. in talk, the cradle. I'm not even. No, I'm not I even talking. Dry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> dry eyes. <laughs> I'm not even talking about songs with Cats lyrics. The there, there are certain like musicians that like just just musically there are movements. You sure that's not where, just a more a more. A, um, an, I'm gay. No, <laughs> okay. more, more, uh, or an outcome because of your your state of mind, maybe. Uh, I don't that know. That plays more into the fact that you're more affected by a song. I don't know. Do you th- what do you think? No, I, I don't think so at all. I think, oh, I think I, most I, people are affected. You've both both have admitted on the past, though, that sure, you're sure, but you don't you, get you don't get pumped <laughs> you up. You by know, songs? you're both crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You admitted it, <laughs> but you don't get pumped up by songs. Like, pumped up by songs, like yeah. what, like like the Rocky theme, like I'm gonna sure. fucking. It's the like, same I'm gonna, thing. Like, it's I'm all gonna, the same I'm gonna thing. run up the stairs like. There Rocky. you go. Yeah. Uh, Man, I don't think it'll I'm run not. Up the I'm stairs. not just dis- disillusional though <laughs> that I could fucking beat a boxer though because I listened to the Rocky song. But it doesn't matter. Incites emotion. Yeah, it's talking about emotion. I mean, get you pumped up. Okay, though. but you got to be. You got to be extremely emotional, emotionally challenged. If you cry, it's not a because song? you heard a song. Not because uh, I, I heard a song. I disagree. With could you remind you of so a memory much. or something yeah, in your you, lifetime. Yeah, uh, you know, could have broke your uh, broke up with a girlfriend and somebody you loved a lot. There's um, there's a okay. Um, so there's so there's it's there's tied more into to something else. I would think so. Yes. Yeah. And that just becomes it. Just driving. Not like, just because <laughs> you heard a song. Are you crazy? Of course you can. <laughs> There's no emotional attachment to the no, song. You, you just heard hear a song the for the first time. What's the a, song then? Please. I mean, I can't think of one now, but I'll I'll think of one. I'll try and think of one. There's a there's a um there's a there's a a guy no no one's probably ever heard of him his name's Joe Stump he's uh he's like one of those you always go blah, 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 you know like the guys who play real fast oh guitars. like guitars yeah and there's this there's a that, song. Was, that wasn't my that was a guitarist that was yeah. that wasn't my uh no like what like uh, some, of the, some of the guitar some of the music I listen to that specifically yeah that's me making my guitarist sound. that's your guitarist okay. noise yeah yeah that's not Unless just those you. who are thinking that I was I don't you're like get them like <laughs> oh I see <laughs> um oh no <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes, that's you imitating a guitar, a fast like, guitar, a shredder. Player. Yes, yeah. a shredder. <laughs> and there's there's a guy. His name's Joe Stump. And there's a moment in the song where, like, I I listen to you know I listen to it repeatedly, and just a couple of bars, and I'm like, it's so beautiful and i'm like i'll never it's not even lyrics i'll no no it's just music it's just him playing a, a it's just music and chord? it's it's the no it, no it's not it's not a chord but it's a series of notes it's a it's a like a two three bar movement where i'm like i will never do anything as perfectly and as beautiful as he's playing right now ever You're more famous than him you're probably right about that. That's a shame. He's crying now, bitch. He's yeah, Joe Stump. Now. Fuck you, Joe. You cry, bitch. Wow, I can't believe it. How often? How so? Do you go out of your way not to listen to this? No, not really. No, and it's welled you up. Oh, definitely. Like I, how many times? Not, not the same. So, like not just that song. There, are, there are a couple different songs that like. It depends on my mood too. Am I like Q's? Q's saying I'm the weird one. What do you think? Sunday, Jeff. I I I, I listen to you. I'm barometer. in your camp on this one. Yeah. Well, Are you saying you know, that music doesn't move people. Is well, what no, it, can move it people, moves but, me, but like I think most so, songs, it, I would imagine there has to be an anchor to something else. It, I would think so. I mean, it's just if you've never heard a song and you just start listening to it. I mean, unless you, I mean, there is like song, you know, like some opera and pe- people could just cry on that. It's it's just emotional. They get all emotional listening to that kind of music. Do you agree with that, Q? Like he says, there's can make people cry. Some beautiful. I know there is. You can identify with that. I, some some fatso singing as high no, as they can or as low fatso. as they can. I, uh, You're talking about it me. Would, <laughs> it would not move me in that way. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't move me in that way, but I but I completely get why it would move some people in that way. Mm-hmm. Sure, absolutely. But why why there, there I is, need to have more significance, something more of like more to it than just because. Uh, yeah, but of course, there's got to be a strong song connect there. with you. But that, that's what you yeah, don't that, go that around would, weeping to would make you sad. <laughs> twinkle, <laughs> twinkle, <laughs> little star. Bad with right, your like, with yeah, long, yeah you know. it has to be a connection to a sad event or something I would that say reminds that for me. Something. Yes, no, you you agree with this too? But not yeah. everybody's like that. Well, you have a song. I uh, I know I have a couple movies I still well up for at the end. Like which ones? Home Alone. 
Oh, at the end, I just. Where goes, where goes my <laughs> argument? There you go, Q. There you go. There, yeah, you're standing with that fuck up. <laughs> home Alone Two. I'll no, cut that part out. Home Alone. Home alone. <laughs> 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 the sequel. Lost in New York. That's mother exactly Wasn't there a Home Alone Three that made, that got you? It was a directed little, video. No? Uh, <laughs> you, yeah, when his mother comes back. It's just in the music. It's the music. And the music. Well, we know get us had. Yeah. Parental mm, mm, issues. Mm, 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 so you could see why. Like, oh, like, get, you'll get him. But again, okay. it's just you got put up for adoption. Part of the movie. You're fucking, Is that true? Yeah, yes. he's adopted. Yeah, you got put up for adopted, that. and then and then your family life has been what he revealed on the Christmas pod, which I will not say, because you have to buy the Christmas pod <laughs> yes. to get it. And then you see a movie where a loving mother comes in at the end and is like, oh, my God, I love you so much. And, I miss you, my son, and blah, blah, blah. And the father's reunited with the daughter next year. Yeah, door. how the fuck are you not going to cry at the end of that? But it's associated but with something. Yes, it's associated association with something. Sure, but is there. Just, I, that's fine. I, I buy that theory, but it's just like, but then who are we to say that someone doesn't have that association with, with wrestling? Maybe their father brought him to wrestling as a kid. Maybe You know what I mean? You don't know. Right. Again, though, you're going to have something that triggers a memory of something else. It's not the fact that – Someone played a fucking – some strings fast that are making it, you ball it up. It is. But, but, huh? but it's just, <laughs> to me, it's, we're both saying the same thing. We're both saying the same thing, I think. Sure. It's just like who cares why it does it? It's the mechanism that gets you to that place again. You know what I can't – you know what I have to either fast forward through or um, I'll leave – I, I can't sit through it is Toy Story 2. Because it's horrible? No. Well, oh, no. Toy Story 2? Oh, Toy Story. Toys? I thought you said Home Alone. Oh, no. Oh, Toy, Story. No, 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 Toy Story 2. No, Toy Story 2 is amazing. Jesse, when, when, like, oh, when she gets abandoned. Yes. Oh, my God. Like, it makes me cry. And I remember my brother Darren being like, oh, well, I'm not going to fucking uh, – he, he was being all manly. I'm not going to be uh, – start fucking crying and get all emotional over a fucking cartoon. I'm like, but you laugh at it. Like, you think it's right. funny. You know, I, over I, I think it might not just be tied to memory. It could also be empathy. You empathize with the characters. Of course. It of is course. the same. Saddest yeah. fucking I, thing in a kid's movie I think I've ever seen. Well, oh, that's Toy like Story Bambi's 3. Mother. I was blown. I remember t- t- telling you Toy Story 3. I was like, there's that moment where they think they're going to die. Yeah. And like, that's it. And, and they're was, all like crowded Yeah, they together. start hugging each yeah. other. And I'm like, they What's think. that smell? Like, it's pussies? No, it's estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> it's just seeping Sunday out of us. <laughs> <laughs> we sweat <laughs> estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> we both look like Bruce Jenner. <laughs> No, I'll give you a uh, You are 100% right. Uh, Movies, without a doubt, I, there's no denying. I can't deny it. I would be a fool to sit here and say that people do not cry over movies. It, it happens to the best of us. Not me. But, um, <laughs> uh, this doesn't happen to the worst of us. But uh, I understand that. And like, But that is an art. That there is, there's something there. Like People will immerse themselves in a movie. Just, I guess just like they will immerse themselves in a song. But to just hear a song and cry with – no connection. It, it, it's hard to believe it happens, but oh, it happens. It happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I listen to the radio and cry all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. What, what else we got? I don't Bunch know. of cry How babies. Long we going? We've been going a while, right? Oh, uh, yeah. We, we we've got plenty. We've got plenty all for right. the people to listen. Let's to. wrap it up. I want to go home. You got to get out of here, Q. Yeah. You know, I'm go tired. home, listen to some songs, and. Cry it out. Some vinyl. I'll fucking cry. cry it out with you, baby. Yeah, let's come with me. Let's go cry. You know what? I I, got, I take it back. I did cry over uh, over a music related item when I saw the uh, when the Kickstarter for the Tell Him Steve Day vinyl cast was right. finished. I shed a tear of joy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it was going to be when fucking Ming stole your I sell comics uh, uh, <laughs> song for his fucking podcast. Yeah. But, uh, All right, with no ads. Not that I'm aware of. Right. Nice. Tell him, Steve, Dave. <laughs> 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 sugar coated, sugar coated, sugar coated, sugar coated. Well, sugar coated, sugar coated, sugar coated, sugar coated, sugar coated.
Tell me that you think about it every day Tell me that you think about me night and day Tell me that you think about me night and day Tell me that you think about me night and day Tell me that you think about me night and day Well, sugar-coated, 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 sugar-coated